Hi everyone, we're going to take our darkened background and blur the background and darken it. We'll show you how to actually blur objects as well and we'll do something kind of fancy where you know this kind of like UI on the top and it's blurring the background to kind of stand off, kind of cool. All right, so blurring stuff, objects and backgrounds in this video, let's get going. All right, which should we start with? Let's start with the map one because it's cool and it's the simplest actually. So um, I'm going to speed this up, I'm just going to import a background image. All right, so I just put in an image, drew a white rectangle, and then added some text, okay? And to make that background blurry, all you do is select the object on top. You say, I would like the background to be blurred, okay? At the moment, it's probably a little bit too blurry. Okay, I want it to be this like kind of hinting at the background, still making this legible. You can play around with how like light or dark it is, depending on kind of what you're doing. Okay, so I'm gonna go just a little bit whiter than I need to. This last one here is like how much of the original shape you can see. So if your shape happened to be like at the moment red, you can't see anything. But watch this, if I raise this up, you can start to see that red rectangle. Is it? There'd be occasions where you need both. Okay, both seeing a bit of the original object and maybe lightening and darkening it. So that's how to do that one. So let's look at doing the background blur. So we kind of did this thing and let's say it's still too much detail. So I'm going to select on this and let's look at object blur first just on its own so you stay over there i can click on an object let's say it's already dark it's not but let's say it's dark enough and we can read all this we just want it blurry out of focus you can say you my friend instead of background blur you say you are object blur there you go and the only problem with object blur is that you get this kind of like fuzzy edge and you might like that it might be perfect Okay, if you don't like the fuzzy edge, you've got a couple of things to do. Um, you can uh, um, make sure the background is not of a high contrast color. So I could say you are full of white, so that when this goes on here, it's just not that noticeable. But you've got that kind of ghosting and you're like, eh, I don't really like it. Okay, so what I do is you can actually mask it again. So watch this, I've got the shape here. I'm going to bring it to the front, uh, just to be clear. I'm going to grab the rectangle tool. I'm going to draw a rectangle inside of it. Select both the blurry thing and this new square. And just like we did before, we're going to use the object mask with shape. And then that blurry object, can you see he's in there? You just kind of like trimmed off the outsides. Okay, so that is one way of doing it. And that's the way I often do it to get rid of the blurry edge is to mask it afterwards. Then you can stick this back on top and use that to control how dark it is if you need to. Because you'll notice that the object blur at the moment, if I go inside of it to click on it, okay, because it got masked, remember, you can see that even though it has an object blur, there's none of that extra stuff that the background blur had, you know, where we could lower and darken it. Okay, yeah, maybe that'll come around. So we've got these two and I'm going to send them to the back, to the back. You to the back. I'm using my shortcuts, remember, it's this one here. Send to back, shift, command, square bracket, or control, shift, square bracket on a PC. So that's how to background blur it and play with the opacity. Look at that, cool. And the other thing you could do is kind of what we did up here, but it doesn't, hmm, it doesn't always work. So I'm gonna show it to you in case it works better in the future, or it might work perfectly for what you need. So I'm going to, what are we gonna do? Let's get rid of that guy. And let's get rid of that guy. Actually, let's get rid of this whole thing. And we'll start with this one. So the alternative is, because you might be like, well, why don't we just use the background blur like we did? You kind of can. So watch this. If I say background blur, okay. The problem with it is, is that it just doesn't get blurry enough. And it does a weird kind of blur. They seem to be two different blurs. Like, look at that. That's full blur. That is also a full blur. That's so different. That's why I don't use this one much. This might change. There might be more control in here, okay? Because it would be perfect because you can control the lightness and the darkness of it. But I don't know. It gives it this kind of like, I uh, don't know, angelic, heavenly glow to it all. I just don't like the whatever the method they're using to blur the background behind it. So I use this method where I blur the object. Might have to trim it up because the edges get a bit fuzzy. And then just lay that over the top. Um, Yeah. Uh, easy and painful, depending on what you want to do. You can click on any old object and just say, you are blurry. There you go. That might be what you want <laughs> from this whole video. <laughs> Should have started with that. Uh, but if you, I don't know. I wanted the background blur. 
So that's what we've done. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next one. But it won't be for a little while because it's Friday. Hooray! It might not be your Friday. But it's my Friday and it's the last video of the day. I hit my targets today. And I will see you again in the very next video. And it will be Monday. I wonder if you can tell the difference in my voice. Will I be more excited? Well, less, probably less excited. It'll be Monday morning. <laughs> All right. But that is the end of this video. Blurring fantasticness. I will see you after the weekend. Hi there. My name is Dan Scott. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel and if you want to go further with Adobe XD there is I have a full course there'll be a link in the description it's called Adobe XD Essentials there'll be a card up here you can click as well uh, but yeah carry on with your day enjoy and I might see you in the full course